the collusion is stopping Lamar from getting paid because he's not feeding just the good old boys. What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one. We got to talk about this Lamar Jackson contract situation. We had Jalen Rose chime in on it, and we've had uh, Manuel Acho speak on what he feels like the 2020 class of quarterbacks should do together to ensure this type of thing doesn't happen again. Now, we've seen all the teams come out against Lamar and say um, they won't be pursuing him as he's in these contract negotiations. You've even heard Michael Vick offer advice. You've heard a lot of people speak on this and he's acting as his own agent pretty much and um he's bypassing all the hands that want to be in the pot and profit off of this whole thing that's going on and acho suggested that they go favorite nations you know that's pretty much as he used in his example what the friends cast did where everybody got a million episodes you know that that's where you get fair contractual treatment more so than you get the same dollar amount so you get exactly what you're worth and i don't know if that's gonna happen in the nfl because everybody's trying to get what they can and worry about their own thing but i'm gonna let you hear what they had to say and i'll be back with my thoughts pay lamar.com ever since the guy got drafted and didn't get a traditional agent and feed the system and didn't switch positions after winning the Heisman Trophy at Louisville, like some NFL aficionados and media suggested, had to sit there and watch Sam Darnold, Josh Rose, and Baker Mayfield all go ahead of him in the draft. Has seen Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills get paid, who has a physical running style as a quarterback too. 15 to 20 teams should be moving mounds to get him. His jersey sales in multiple cities would skyrocket. He, along with Patrick Mahomes, the most electrifying quarterbacks at that position. The collusion is stopping Lamar from getting paid because he's not feeding just the good old boys network the money that they want to get a percentage of his contract. What a shame. Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts, all that 2020 class, which means they can currently negotiate their deals. Well, I think Joe Burrow's vow of silence is the worst thing he could do contractually from a macro perspective. Here is what that 2020 class should do. They should do something called going favored nations. Favored nations is when a group of people come together and they all agree that they want the same thing. We saw it before with the show Friends, Jennifer Aniston, Matthew Perry, David Schwimmer, etc. One individual football player, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, they will not be stronger than the owners, but all of those players can collectively be stronger than the owners. Joe Burrow should not vow a silence with the Cincinnati Bengals instead. He should call up Lamar, call up Hertz, call up Herbert, and they should collectively say, we will not play this season unless we all get fully guaranteed deals. All right, it's official Lamar Jackson demanding a trade from the Baltimore Ravens, a very well-run organization that has proven over time they can win a lot of different ways with a lot of different quarterbacks. Flacco, Lamar, Trent Dilfer. Um, if he is going to demand a fully guaranteed contract, I think the market's really, really small. Very rarely do you get a high profile athlete in their prime, former MVP and ugly contract negotiations. Ravens have a history, mostly treat players right. Um, we talked about it last week. Lamar's gotten noisy. If a fully guaranteed deal is what he's demanding, I don't think there's a ton of teams out there He's missed a lot of starts, and um, but he's betting on himself. Remember, the Ravens get two first-round picks if they move him. So Baltimore is saying, listen, test the market. We won before you. We're going to win after you. Test the market. We're getting two firsts. And they historically draft and develop well. Bit of a stalemate. Lamar wants out. Can't wait for today's show. So when we look at this whole thing, Manuel Acho has a good idea in theory, right? But who's actually going to do that? You know, Justin Herbert is going to get his max deal. And he's going to get what he's asking for. 
Uh, Joe Burrow's definitely going to get what he's asking for. And Jalen Hurts, we, you know, we're going to see. But he, he should definitely get, you know, he's gotten to the Super Bowl. He should get what he's asking for. Um, going favorite nations, I guess, you know, these guys are on opposing teams. They're dealing with different organizations. But the owners, I, I guess what Acho is saying is you can see the collusion plain as day and it's time for the players to put their foot down. Because football, I feel like, is a game where – you know, guaranteed contracts are long overdue, especially with how we've seen these guys have CTE after their career. Some of the things that's happened, you think about Junior Seau and some of those those guys and how their life even ended. And you can point back to uh, some of the things that happened when they were playing. And I feel like AB, some of that is him. And I feel like some of that is that CTE so I feel like these guys definitely you know to put their bodies on the line like that and what they're gonna have to endure for the rest of their lives they definitely need to um get guaranteed deals I just don't know if he can ask the 2023 class to do that and I, here's my thinking Joe Burrow he came into the league and had a horrible injury now the next two years after that has been great been phenomenal but in the back of his mind, if his organization is going to pay him, he's going to say, I need to take that right now while it's here. Jalen Hurts, you know, he's going to say, let me get what I can while I can get it. Uh, Justin Herbert, the same. Just the nature of the game. You know, you have that leverage now. What if they go out there, though, and leverage it in this way and um, say we're not going to play or whatever? And, you know, I, I don't I don't know, man. It's just too much. Like, I, I would like for that to work, but that's asking a lot of people. You know, what if what if they get hurt in practice or so, or they get hurt while they're doing that, while they're leveraging, and they say they ain't going to play. And, you know, someone else comes in and performs better than them. They get a revelation. You get, you get like a Brock Purdy type situation, even though those guys are – much better than the quarterbacks in San Francisco, you know. You they, you might get a revelation of a guy coming in outperforming you or playing better than you. They might catch a bottle of lightning and say, oh, man, I don't really need him anyway. So it, it does kind of go both ways, but I do think Joe Burrow, like, that's a – he's not going to be replaced. I'm not worried about anybody coming to outplay him, but Justin Herbert – um, Jalen Hurts, you know, he's improving. Lamar Jackson, uh, he, he's a proven quarterback, man. I feel like, uh, you know, him operating as his own agent, he has to, uh, you know, he has to make it happen, man. Um, but I, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can ask those other guys to do that at this point in their careers, you know. Now, I, I agree it takes something revolutionary like that to change the current structure because you think they're going to let a season go with Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and Jalen Hurts not playing next year? No, but you can look at Joe Burrow and, and Lamar and say, hmm, you know, Joe Burrow, from a competitive standpoint, Lamar is in my division. I want him to get paid because, yeah, it's a brotherhood. At the same time, I don't have to face him if they don't pay him. You know, it's, it's going to be one of those things where he's not an opponent to stop me from reaching my ultimate goal. So there's that, too. So I think where you can't compare it to friends is the cast of friends. You you know, you the cast of actors, you have to you have to have to continue the plot in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in competitive athletics, Anything that can give you a competitive advantage uh, and it's not cheating or something, you got to take it. And Lamar Jackson not being available for the Ravens is good for the other teams in the division. I mean, so there's that part, too, that I don't feel like people are looking at as strong. But I would love I would love to see the quarterback stick together. I just don't know if. You know, if it's going to work or not. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. <music>